Hello everyone, welcome back to the Indie Geek Guide channel and we're back with Black Sails Season 2, pressing on forward. Uh, so at the end of the last episode, uh, Flint, with the help of John Silver of course, has now taken back his captaincy of the uh, of the ship that they've stolen. It came around a lot quicker than I was expecting it to, but I'm, I'm happy we're on that path and uh, we'll see how Flint can maintain that being the captain now, uh, if he's actually got everyone's trust or... If there's still going to be those of crew wanting to uh, upset this at all it's certainly going to be interesting and now flint's in a position to go and get that gold after leaving it behind so we'll see we will see how that progresses got ned low causing trouble back on nassau and uh that that is getting crazy it's escalating he's cutting people's heads off i mean that's his own crew member he's cutting to bits now uh so lord knows what he'll do to other people who get in his way so We'll see. We'll see if Charles can do anything about it. There, him and Eleanor discuss the fact that they know that uh, Ned has got a prize worth something big, but no one really knows what it is, other than us, the audience. We know it's a kidnapped woman of some importance that we don't actually know why she's important at this point. But we'll see. We'll see uh, if Charles can storm Ned and his men and sort of resolve that problem at all, and if they discover the girl and what they're going to do with her all that all of that to come i'm assuming but then most importantly most importantly we got confirmation that billy billy the bones is alive not particularly well but he's alive so i wonder if he's going to factor into this episode a bit more we're going to see uh where that's going to be going and if billy and flint will be reunited and how that's going to unfold i'm sure that's probably going to be a few episodes in the making but it's an exciting prospect nevertheless but for now we're going to jump into this episode, see what we've got, and uh, see what craziness now ensues. Let's jump into it. We can't get an honest man appointed governor in the Bahamas. We can get him appointed. The problem seems to be keeping him honest thereafter. Yeah, the island seems to corrupt yeah, everyone who goes there. Put a man on an island, give him power over other men, and it won't be long before he realises that the limits of that power are nowhere to be seen. And no man given that kind of influence will remain honest for very long. Yes. Interesting. Is that what's happening to Flint, or is it not? The mystery continues. Although he's been humbled quite a lot, so hopefully. <laughs> he hopefully he knows. Well, I want to go home, back in the bay. I know not ask what I think about it. We're sailing a Spanish warship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, think about it. You're going to get shot the moment you show up. We fly on the black, don't need identify us? You mean behind the giant red crosses on the sails? <laughs> I know it's been a long old ride for a lot of these people and they just want to go home, but do you really want to get shot the moment you arrive? <laughs> uh huh. Fight, 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 fight! <laughs> I think it's no secret that since my arrival I've been repeatedly provoked and harassed by the Guthrie woman. I hear you and she have a connection. And if things were to deteriorate even further between us, I'd just like to know whether I'll have you to deal with too. No matter how bloody this feud gets between she and I, I can rest soundly, knowing you'll take no part in it. None whatsoever. I don't believe you, Charles. I don't believe you. However. <laughs> yep, Charles is uh, playing both sides at the moment, and he absolutely wants to kill that man. <laughs> After my departure, please ensure that mine is the only longboat that ferries anyone to and from the island. The men will resist any... They all know that we're headed back for the Urka's gold. They all know where it is, and they all know that its defences are weakened. We simply cannot allow that information leaking out onto the beach. Yeah, that would be bad. <laughs> that would be all-out war to get there first. But there is a secret you wish my help in obtaining? New crew on the island. Captain by a man named Lo. They're hiding something piece from their last prize i'd like you to find out what it is yep he needs to know if he can get some leverage or not so though i suppose if the value is great enough it would give you pretense to move against him and call it business yep. instead of calling it what it actually is max is either the smartest person in the room or the dumbest like it flip-flops so hard sometimes <laughs> your former shipmates they wish to sail again under their own banner but so long as they bear the black mark you put upon them, their prospects will remain dim. 
I'd like you to remove it. She's actually going to help him out. Good for you, Max. I found a way to stop caring about her. Would you like to know how? No. No. He likes caring about her too much. It's probably his own... I mean, I don't know if flaw is the right word, but it's a weakness that people can use against him, that's for sure. Here we go. Let's see how this plays out. <laughs> She's like, oh, the answer to all my troubles is here. Little does she know. Before I or Hornigold or anyone knew what was going on, he and his men were firmly positioned up there and threatening to sink every ship in the bay the moment we made any move against him. So you did nothing? What would you have had me do? Something. Anything. He just sunk every ship in the bay. He just sunk a few ships in the bay and it would have been in price worth paying. You weren't here. And he isn't the problem you think he is. If I brought the Urka gold back here past those guns, he wouldn't use his position to rob me of every last ounce of it. Yeah, that's that's in question for sure. To make a quick job would just be you and I. I don't think that's a very good idea. Why wouldn't it be a good idea? Would you not enjoy my company? Tongues will wag. That is the problem. <laughs> Do you honestly not see it? That your judgment with her is clouded at best, that she knows it and intends to use it to drive a wedge between us, because it is painfully obvious to me, and there's nothing I can do to count it's it. It's certainly a bit of ammunition in Max's pocket if she needs to use it. Join me. Won't you? Okay, public display. Maybe this will work. I know what love's got. Was it? was it right though? Did she say the right thing? Because we didn't hear what it was. <laughs> Go with it, Jack. Go with it. It's maybe confusing and well, concerned it. about what's going on, but I so. go with it. I think you're someone who's very good at managing how you're perceived. And perhaps getting what you want without anyone ever knowing how you did it. Or perhaps if it ever happened at all. Certainly some truth in all that. <laughs> Alright, well. They had an affair, but apparently it wasn't a problem. So that's one piece of the puzzle. I suppose. I still think there's more to it than that, though. Is he going to try and confirm what the prize is that they've got stowed away? I think your men couldn't care less about Ellen McGuffrey. I think they find your feelings for her to be pathetic. But I think my feelings about Eleanor scare you to death. And I must say... It is certainly a threat, that's for sure. Only but Charles is usually pretty good at dealing with threats, so... <laughs> oh god, this is either going to go really well or horribly, isn't it? This is... The gears are about to change once again. <laughs> I get your ship. I get your cargo. <laughs> I get your weapons. I get it all. Mr. Holmes! Yeah, he ain't coming. He's dead. Mr. Holmes doesn't work here anymore. Damn! <laughs> Charles, you better do something. You better do something, my man. Is that it? Is Ned dealt with already? Jesus. Well, <laughs> I kind of expected that uh, Charles would deal with Ned, but Christ, that happened quicker than I expected. <laughs> so now I guess the real problem is Flint versus Charles. That's that's what we're doing here. Duh. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. I didn't do it for you. 
Oh shit. <laughs> oh god. This is only going to end badly, okay? This is only going bad. It'll be a small start. We're going to sail again. Ah, it's good to see Jack happy again. And wants freesome. And wants freesome. And wants freesome. <laughs> Is this going to be Anne's tactic to try and stop Max having the upper hand in their relationship? Jewel taken from the good fortune prize. Her father's Lord Peter Ash. As soon as she wakes, I'll get a particulars and go ransom her myself. He's hanged men for merely suspecting them of piracy. He's fanatical about exterminating men like you. Eleanor. This is a big risk. I wasn't asking permission. Not just for Charles, but this whole place. Like, you fuck this guy off, he's gonna come down like a goddamn hammer. Even if we could refit amidst the chaos that has been sown, even if we could ignore all of this and go on to win the Urkas gold, what then? We return home only to have Vane extort from us the very prize that we have sacrificed so much to win? Charles Vane and the animals he commands have until sunrise tomorrow to vacate that fort, or so help me God! I will rain holy hell down upon I mean, he's certainly setting the terms right there. <laughs> oh my god. I have to wait till next week to see how that gets resolved. God damn it. <laughs> okay, that was a reaction to Black Sales, guys. If you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up button. Maybe consider subscribing so you don't miss any future videos and help this video get seen by more people. But for right now, we're going to have a little talk about this episode. Right, well, first things first, let's talk about the removal of Ned Lowe. <laughs> I did... I really did not see him getting removed this early on happening. I really thought that was going to be drawn out a little bit longer, but I maybe should be expecting it by now because the show has a way of picking up a threat, an antagonist, a situation, telling that story in a very condensed amount of time and then moving on to the next bigger fish, as it were. Um, <laughs> so maybe I should be expecting that at this point. I don't know, but... That was, it was, you know, it was a big power play by Charles and uh, it was pretty satisfying to see Ned get his, like, after these few episodes of him being just a monster. But I do feel like it is a, it is a play by the show to get you on Charles's side a bit more. Like, they want you to maybe be a bit more conflicted about who you're rooting for between Charles and Flint. Um, for me, uh, I, I remember everything Charles has done still <laughs> up to this point. And I still think he is a flight hazard at at best, you know, <laughs> like he's he's going to cause problems somewhere down the line. He's already seeding that by this whole ransoming of this girl off idea, like the amount of problems that could cause for the island and himself and everyone around him is, you know, that's big. <laughs> On the flip side, you do have Flint who has this obsession with making Nassau uh, a better place, a place where it can be its own nation, essentially, and he can retire out, out of the sea and just go live the life he wants to live peacefully. Um, but he has got that obsessive desire there. He'll just go to lengths that no one else will, clearly, and he's made enemies along the way. But, I mean, here's the thing. They're all pirates. They're all doing morally grey things or outright bad things to get what they want at the end of the day. And it's just a case of whose vision do you believe in more and who do you think is worth more? Because there, there are no straight up good guys in this, as as it is right now anyway. There, there is, that isn't what the options are. And personally, I believe Flint's uh, vision is probably the more ideal one. It's one that's worth fighting for, at least the idea of like being able to live a peaceful life is, you know in my mind and opinion, <laughs> a fight worth fighting for rather than Charles is pretty much fighting for the sake of fighting because that's what he is, that's what he wants to do. He wants to be the best, he wants to be feared, he wants Eleanor to love him. Like, You know what I mean? Is it, I just feel like Flint's vision is uh, more grand and it's like a more worthy fight overall. So 
if you're wondering if i haven't made it clear enough my at this point my my opinions and sides are with flint despite everything that he has done because i feel like his his vision is better but charles despite having badass moments where you know killing ned low is a big plus you know that's a big old green tick next to his name there but overall he's still you know he still fights for childish reasons and reasons that in the long term won't really mean anything really other than you might get a bit richer if you're lucky <laughs> At least at this point, I can't stress that enough. Right? Obviously, I don't have foreknowledge of what's going to happen next, so that could completely change. The show has shown that it can do that, so we'll see where that all goes. One person that I have completely... I mean, I wouldn't say completely turned around on, because I liked Tim to begin with. It, he just had a slightly sleazy edge to start with, but now he's a lot more endearing, and that is good old Jack Rackham. At this point, again, I have to stress, it, it's <laughs> he's been down his luck, he got humbled, he built himself back up bit by bit, and now he's in a place where, like, it was just nice to see him happy. <laughs> Finally feel a little bit more like himself, his renewed self, you might say. So that was nice. It's good to see Jack on the, on the up and up. And it's going to be interesting to see if, if he's going to factor in a big way down the line and uh, how that might play out as well. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, at the moment, he is kind of like the B story to the show's big plot. Um... But I look forward, because there's obviously going to happen at some stage that those things are going to combine in some way. And I look forward to seeing how that goes. I, I can see, you know, Jack proving himself as a really good captain. And that's where the trouble might start for the likes of Flint and Charles when, when Jack is showing himself to be more than able to be a match for them. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, the show could surprise me. I suppose the real question this episode is posing is, would Charles have done anything to Flint? had he just rolled up and now i think obviously if he rolled up with spanish sails and whatever then that would have been a problem they would have just fired straight away but if he'd announced himself and said hey we're coming in we've got the spanish ship we're coming would charles have tried to take ship from him would you know i feel like it's all possible but vice versa i feel like eleanor could have intervened and said look just let flint be Flint. I don't know how that would have played out for um, Charles's crew, but it's interesting. There are lots of like hypotheticals of what could have been, what would have been, you know, all that kind of stuff. I'm surprised Eleanor wasn't more pissed off with the kidnapping of uh, Lord Ash's uh, daughter. I think they said it was at the end. Um, it was. I don't know. We'll see. But there's lots of plates still up in the air, spinning away. I look forward to seeing which ones come crashing down. <laughs> I think uh, I've forgotten the guy's name, but the guy who was in charge of the fort could be a potential problem because he just seems angry. Like previously, when he had the fort, he seemed to be acting out of good fort processes and stuff. But right now, he just seems angry and obsessed, kind of like Flint is, but obsessed in a way where it's completely clowning his bad judgment. You could be argue that that might be happening to Flint as well. I've, the next episode will be the proof in the pudding to see if that is the case <laughs> we'll see um but no uh my side i'm siding with flint i hope he does something to work out i don't want charles to die or anything i don't want i feel like there's room for charles to come around and that eleanor might do something to uh maybe you, know, you can sort of see it already though like this idea of um yeah uh, of what he's fighting for maybe he wants he wants there to be a bit more meaning to it there's hints of it but <laughs> There's still a, it's still a lot of, um, I'm doing this because it's what I like doing rather than for any grander purpose. I don't know. We'll see. All of that is to be continued, I suppose. So I look forward to it. Thank you for watching this episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up button. It helps this video get seen by more people and it lets me know that you liked it. Also consider subscribing so you don't miss any future episodes, get notified, all of that good stuff. There's plenty of other content on the channel as well, so please do go check that out as well. I'm currently watching all the Friday the 13th movies for Halloween, so go check those out as well. But other than that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you on the next. Thank you.